Hello everyone. Today I'm going to continue on the subject of where to start and how to begin connecting with Slavic deities and tell you a little bit more about the Slavic path or that's how I call it. So, first of all, what you want to do is try to start living in harmony with yourself and everybody else. It is not very easy, obviously, but the world-oriented mindset is very important. Don't do things that don't seem right to do. Do things that call to you. I guess that's how you can describe it. And uh, second is that Slavic paganism is a nature-based religion. We love nature, and by connecting with it, we develop our insight and intuition, which we later use in our spells. And uh, we respect nature and everything in it, every being, living and non-living. Things like plants, rocks, forests, prairies... Uh, mountains, oceans, rivers, ponds and lakes are sacred to us as well as trees and we do not deliberately harm them unless we absolutely have to. Of course part of being a nature-based pagan and living in harmony with yourself and nature is trying not to waste natural resources and treat things that belong to us, and especially those that don't belong to us, with respect. Uh, third, we do believe that death is not really the end, but just another beginning. Actually, death is a whole different subject, which could be discussed for a long time. As pagans, we employ the magic of elements in our practice, and the elements would be earth. Maybe you can't really see. I've got some dirt here in the dish. There. And fire on our altar is usually represented with beeswax candles and we've got air and air could be represented with the, the empty cup which you use to contain your breath before the ritual kind of like this and there you go now it's got air actually your own air <laughs> and finally the fourth element would be water here when I try to show it it spills a little bit there, there. and the fifth element the one that binds them all together and we sometimes place in the middle of our altar, but not always, is actually salt. Here. I've got here salt with herbs. So this is salt. And of course, the air on the altar could be also represented with sensor, with some incense smoking in it. As a follower of the Slavic path, I prefer the natural tree sap, such as pine sap, that I harvested myself in our local forest. Or spruce sap also works very well, or cedar sap, 